So a little, a little bit more about physiology, uh, about bones and hormones. So the first one is parathyroid hormone. Parathyroid hormone is interesting because in low intermittent levels, it actually helps build bone. So that's anabolic. Uh, the function you're more familiar with is when it's in higher levels, such as in hyperparathyroidism, where it will lead to bone breakdown and increase in calcium and decrease in phosphate. And in hyperparathyroidism, if you, leave, if you have too much bone breakdown because you have too much parathyroid hormone, you're going to get something called osteoitis fibrosis cystica. Um, that's the term just I want to bring up just for your reference. Uh, excuse me. I want to note that PTH indirectly increases osteoclast activity. I mean that because PTH acts on osteoblast. It increases osteoclast activity, but it's through osteoblast. So it's going to act on osteoblast to lead to increased osteoclast differentiation, and thus you have increased osteoclast activity indirectly. The next hormone is estrogen. Estrogen function is to prevent apoptosis of osteoblasts, and it induces apoptosis in osteoclast. Basically, estrogen helps bone, protects, gives you good bone health. Um, so if you have estrogen deficiency, then you will have increased bone osteoclast activity, increased bone resorption, and thus you have a risk of osteoporosis, which we're going to talk about in a second. Other thing to note is estrogen closes your epiphyseal growth plates during puberty. So girl, that's why girls um, stop growing. I mean, guys stop growing too. I mean, it's through all these hormones. But girls in puberty get a bunch more, much more estrogen, which is why they get breast development um, and other secondary sex, sex characteristics. And they also have closed epithelial growth plates. So they hit that growth spurt and they stop growing. So that is it for our bones and hormones.